I'm Alan Johnson, KU2Y, and this is the CubeSat Simulator Beta Kit unboxing video. So I'm going to open up the box here. And uh, the, uh, the actual kit will have everything wrapped in bubble wrap and things like that, which I have uh, removed. But uh, first thing you notice, you see the fully assembled boards. So for example, this is the uh, STEM payload board. It's got the Raspberry Pi Pico there uh, and already programmed. Um, and uh, it's got the FM transceiver. It's got the SMA coax ready for the antennas. And it's got um, sockets for the two sensors, the MPU 6050 and the BME 280. Uh, which for this kit you will need to um, need to solder them, but the board itself is ready to go and has the JST connector. Here is the uh, battery board. So it's got the three nickel metal hydride batteries already plugged in uh, and tested and ready to go. And finally is this is the solar board. Uh, which is ready to plug all of the solar panels in. And you will need to solder the wires onto the solar panels and plug them in as you do it. And here is the Raspberry Pi Zero uh, single board computer. Um, it has the software uh, installed on this uh, 16 gig micro SD card and it's all ready to go. And the um, Pi camera is plugged in and ready to go as well. Okay, so here are the frame parts. So there's four parts to the frame. There is the top and the bottom, which are identical. Uh, it doesn't matter which one uh, you use for that. And then the two sides. The one side here uh, has the camera mount and the other side does not. So those are the four 3D printed plastic frame pieces that you will uh, assemble and uh, and connect together with the uh, plastic screws. Uh, so here is the um, USB-C cable and power plug. So this is for uh, charging uh, the batteries. Okay, so uh, in this Ziploc bag here uh, is a set of uh, DigiKey parts. Uh, each part is uh, in a separate bag and it's labeled. For example, this says hex nut nylon M2. Uh, and it says there's four of them there. Um, so this is mainly hardware associated with stacking the boards and securing the frame. Uh, also the coax and the uh, antennas are there as well. So here are the um, solar panels. You might have one pack of 10 or two packs of five, uh, which is what, what this is. And, uh, and you will need to um, solder a JST wire uh, onto each solar panel. Okay, and then finally this bag here has the uh, AMSAT uh, remove before flight tag here, which you will plug into uh, the solar board. Uh, so here is uh, one of the sensors. This is the MPU uh, 6050. This is the gyro sensor here along with the uh, eight pin male header. There's also a right angle header that we don't use. And um, once you've soldered it, it will look like this. So you see it will have the, uh, have the, the pin headers here and, uh, and it will be ready to plug into the STEM payload board. Same thing for the uh, MPU um, 60, sorry, for the BME 280 sensor. This is the pressure, temperature, uh, altitude, humidity sensor here. Again, it's got an eight pin male header and uh, you'll, you'll solder that in. And when you're done, it will look like this. You can see the see the uh, pin header there facing down and the sensor facing up. So this is the uh, double stick tape. Um, so you'll need scissors to basically cut little pieces of it and then use that to fix the uh, solar panels onto the frame. 
And then finally, we have um, 10 of these uh, JST2 connectors. So um, each one of these is going to solder onto the solar panel. Just the red one goes to the positive, the black one goes to the negative. And when you're done, this is what the solar panels um, will, will look like. So you can see the red soldered onto the plus there, uh, the black onto the minus. And if you want to, you can use a little hot glue or some other adhesive uh, in order to, uh, to to get some strain relief. But if you build it right away um, and you don't take it apart multiple times, it should be okay. Okay, so there you have it. That is the complete AMSAT CubeSat simulator kit.